Next, you're going to open Paint. Paint comes in most... I think everybody gets paint automatically through um, Windows. I'm not sure about Mac. I've never had one. But I have Windows 7, so this is what mine looks like, Paint. So go to Paste. You're going to Paste. If you've got to go up to File, Paste, you know, however you have to get to Paste. Mine's right here on my, on my clipboard. So you just hit Paste, and it actually pastes in the full screen into Paint. Okay, so you want to go ahead and bring it up so... You can crop it. Next, we're going to crop. So hit the crop tool to select, and you're just going to make a rectangle or make a square around your image. And that looks about right. And hit crop, and it crops everything out and just has your image. So this is the image that you're going to go ahead and save. So go up to save. I like to save mine as JPEGs, and I have a little folder already for my uh, Cricut cuts. So we're going to make this crab one, okay, and hit save. Now open your future software. Let me open up a new one, new design. Go to create, open up auto punch, click next, select your image. We're going to use crab one, that's the one I just did. And once your image is up, if that's the correct one, you hit next. If you want to resize it, uh, the second page you can resize. That's fine for me. Just hit next. I like to put this in inches. Three by four. Yeah, that's about right. Um, so go next. And this is right um, where you're going to do your colors. I just like to push suggest and um, let the computer do the work for me. And I don't mess with the colors. It's pulling up white, black, and teal. Uh, which is exactly what I have on here, so we're doing good so far. <laughs> and click Next again. I don't ever mess with the um, the stitch length either. I just let it at, let it stay at the nine millimeters because it says it's the default, works for most. I say okay. So it's going to go ahead and it's set up here for the. You've got two different images. You have your black outline, and then you have your fill. I like to keep the fill just in case you want to use it as an embroidery design, but today we're gonna to, I'm gonna show you how to do it as an applique. So make sure that your black outline, if you're doing an applique, your black outline is one full image. If it's broken up at all, you're gonna to have to go back into Cricut or back into paint and fix your image, resize it, save it, open it again, try it again. I noticed that some Im images that I did, it took me a couple times to get it right. Uh, this is just a nice one. It usually works the first time. So, um, and if you happen to have some random shapes in here, shapes and colors that doesn't, when you click on them, see when you click on each of these, it's going to highlight, okay? So if you have some like weird shapes that come up that are kind of different colors and you click on them and you don't really see where they go to, just remove them. They're just little pieces that the computer um, had picked up, little colors and stuff you don't need. But uh, if it's a big piece, you know, obviously you need to go back and fix it. So, but we're good here. So we're going to click next. And the next, we're going to do our settings. So on the black outline, we want to make sure that it is set to a fill st uh, column stitch. Excuse me. So this is why you always got to fix them. Um, so you want to be column stitch, so it's like a satin stitch. Number three, go down to number three. Make sure satin is clicked. You want to click fill underlay and edge walk underlay. Okay, these two buttons right here are going to make it possible for it to be an applique. Okay, because the fill underlay will stitch um, one or two round, um, straight stitches around the image, and then the edge walk underlay will stitch that zigzag stitch around. And let's see, this one, uh, it's going to be a fill. That's what we want it to be. And click next, just in case. I like to keep it just in case I want to use it as an embroidery. And always make sure you use a jump stitch, not a running stitch, when you go to choose your connection. Because a running stitch will stitch straight through your project um, instead, of, instead of skipping to the next color. It'll just run a stitch right through, and then you'll be ruined and you to start all over. Okay, so hit finish and wait a couple seconds and it'll pull up and I'll go ahead and make this bigger for us. 
and I like to maybe we'll come out just a little bit more okay I like to view it in realistic view so go up to view and hit realistic view so you can see exactly what it's gonna look like and this is where I look for breaks in the black outline unless there you know see if there's any breaks or anything like that that's gonna screw up my design and it looks okay from here um, so down here at the in the order of it of your stitches since I'm gonna use this as an applique I want to make the order of um, the crab to be first so when we go to look at the design we're gonna redraw the design um, it stitches out the black first and I'll have to sit through the blue okay so go up to view and hit redraw design give you redraw design sorry and um, just make sure that the speed is on a low speed so you can look and you can uh, pay attention to the design because what it's going to do is it's going to stitch out your outline you're going to stop you're going to stop your machine okay you're going to lay your fabric down and restart the design again so you're going to resend it to your machine so it starts all over again and it'll stitch that same outline again and stop your machine once it's stitched one complete way around take out your hoop cut around uh, the fabric put your hoop back in and then finish it out that way that's how you're going to use it as an applique or you can lay your fabric down on your hoop um, if you don't really care where it's going to go if you don't need that that guide outline um, and then you can just do it in one time and not have to restart the design it's totally up to you so let's just make sure that this is gonna work so hit play on your design and you'll see it's doing the outline right now okay so far so good and if it stitches over two times before coming back that's okay your your fabric just you can keep in your mind your fabric is sitting there okay and this is where you'll stop it okay if this was your machine and you were stitching this out you'd stop it right here and either lay your fabric down and restart the design or stop it here if your fabric is already laid down for your applique and cut around okay and then hit play and then continue it'll do one or two more straight stitches around to tack it down this is all the fill underlay that option that we clicked earlier in the image making it possible for us to do this applique and then it'll stitch that zigzag stitch that edge walk underlay around the entire image looks like this one would be good and then it'll go through and do the satin stitch so this is just how I figured out how to do this um, if you anybody finds out an easier way or a faster way I mean by all means please share the secret because um, this is really cool I think uh, use being being able to use any Cricut cut um, Cricut image that they have um, to use for applique or embroidery you don't even have to use it just for applique if you wanted to have this as an embroidery and you could have in your Cricut design studio one of the layers is his little eyes you know you could you could add those little eyes to here to him in the Cricut design studio and just put him a different color so when you put an auto punch it'll recognize the different color and um, you know print it out in in, in embroidered out this really cute little crab you know you don't have to use it as applique so in in the Cricut cartridges there's tons of different cartridges there's cartridges for whoops sorry there's cartridges for um for for home decor you know swirly things and flowers and 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 um fonts it, it's just there's thousands and thousands and thousands of cuts you know it'll take you some time to just l sit through and, and and scroll through all of them and look at all of them so this is just how like I said this is how I learned uh, I figured out how to do this yesterday um, so if anybody else has any tips or suggestions please feel free to share um, but I hope this helped all of you um, having questions and, and wanting to do this so alrighty Thank you so much for watching.